Hi guys, this is Girl vs. Dumb again. I'm a Twitch partner and today I'm going to tell you about something that's got me really excited, which is the Stream Elements Hype Cup. In my opinion, it's the most advanced widget cup on Twitch. Let's give it a look. Why is it so cool? Well, it's a great way to visualize all the alerts and all the events that happen on your channel. It's a great way to increase interaction with viewers and other streamers, and it's extremely customizable and has a lot of different variations for all of these different alerts. It also comes with some really cool animated alerts already there for you, as well as some really excellent cups and lots of customizable physics. Let's go over to Stream Elements and check it out. Okay, so we're gonna start on the Stream Elements dashboard. From there, click on My Overlays, and then I'm gonna add the Hype Cup to one of my existing overlays. If you guys don't know how to make an overlay, there's an overlay video that's gonna be linked in the description as well as at the end of the video. So click on the pencil to go over to the Overlay Editor, and from here, it's gonna edit us on the editor. Let's add a widget in the Widgets tab. Then, under the Stream Elements row here, let's click on Hype Cup going to add it in my default hype cup, which is a wine glass. If you guys want to change it, we'll be able to do that really quickly in a second with a change cup feature. I'm going to start by renaming the cup to be something more specific to me. Call it to GBD hype cup. That will reflect down here in the layers tab. You can click on that and now see that there. These are some of the different events and all the different variations can be changed here. These are all the different events that you can do with the Stream Elements Hype Cup. You can edit cheers, tips, subscribers, followers, and hosts. The only one that doesn't have specific variations is the followers here, and that's just because Twitch doesn't have different variations of followers. So right now, if I were to play an alert, you'd see the text coming across the screen just on the right there. So let's edit some stuff. You can see it showing up right here, and that's because it's within this bounding box. If you would like to use the entire screen for the cup instead, you would want to click on Use Entire Screen for the Cup. Now it moves it around, and we can always change that across, but basically it's going to anchor it to the bottom of the screen. If you don't want to show event messages, you can turn that off, and you can also change the event message settings perhaps with the font or the size. If I wanted to change it to 20, I think that's a little more preferable for my taste. Um, but whatever you like, whether you want them on or off is absolutely okay. Now the next thing here is something called wireframes. Wireframes are something that's basically a boundary of the cup itself and of each individual token when they fall, you'll be able to see it. So let's play a couple tokens really quick. Click on some tips and some cheers and subscribers over here. And you'll be able to see them when they fall in the cup that these are all following they have a little circle wireframe around them what that's showing us is how the physics of them interact you can change it from being a circle to a square to a capsule and you'll be able to change that under the individual variations for each next we have duration duration is basically the amount of time it takes for the text to slide across the screen so in the event that i'm using the entire screen for the cup it would take eight seconds to go from left to right across the screen we also have token gravity, which if I emulate a couple events here, you'll see how bouncy the tokens are with each other. If you want it to be a little less bouncy, more subtle, you can turn it down. Or if you want to have a little more splooge, you can turn it up. I'm going to leave it in the middle for now. You can also change the cup actions. If you want to reload the cup, you would click that here, then clear the cup. And in the event the cup falls over, you can put it back upright. The cup falling over only happens under very specific conditions, like having a really, really big token go off. You can always put it back up, and if you want to turn that off, you would go over here and click on Prevent Cup Movement. If you do want it to be able to fall over, you'd want to have that unchecked. Now, at this point, we can also look at some of the cool different cups that we have. There's some really awesome ones here. There's also this guy, which is best seen, maybe with the background on. It's pretty awesome. You can also see the wireframes on this and any of the other cups that we have. You can also change the cup position because right now I have it anchored to the bottom of the screen. It can still move left and right and you can change the scale as well. So let's click save and we'll keep the really big cup there. Okay, so let's start looking at some of the events. Let's start with cheers by clicking on the gear. Now you can see here that there's a default alert message. If you want to change that, that's absolutely okay. These things in the brackets are called variables. This one will show the Twitch username, the amount cheered, and the message. If you don't want, for example, to show the message, you can go ahead and delete it, and it'll be absolutely okay. You'll just want to make sure you save afterwards. Now, it's important to note, like it says here, that all the default Twitch cheering modes will show. If 
you want to do your own, there's a special way to add it for now. So let's click on variation. If you want to have your own cheer emote, the ones that move around, you would need to actually put the custom cheer code name in there as well as the sprite sheet. So there's five of them total between one and 10,000 and you need to do a variation for each of those. Then from here, you'd click on change image and you'd wanna have a sprite sheet here that you would click submit on. Since I don't have that, I'm gonna just do a static one. So next, I want this to be for the minimum amount of one bit. I'm gonna use a body type of a circle, which we were looking at earlier is basically, again, the wireframes and how they interact with each other. You can have a circle, a square, or a capsule shape for each of these. The weight is important to note as well. For something a little lower, you wanna have a lower weight, a lower mass of the body for each of the tokens. If it's something higher, like a higher donation or higher resub or something like that, you might wanna change it to a higher mass. So something maybe like 50 would be better. You can also change the token size and turn it up. Across the board, I really like one and a half. And for some of the bigger ones, you can go ahead and change them back individually. Now the body bounds, you wanna have it be around 30 to 40% of the image. And this is the physics hitbox. Under advanced, this is for if you did a sprite sheet, which I apologize, I didn't explain it. A sprite sheet is basically a frame by frame JPEG or PNG of different animations. If you do have a sprite sheet, so again, if you have your custom cheer emote that you added, all one through five of them, you'd want to click on the provided images of the sprite sheet. In my instance, it's not, so I'll just leave it as is. I'm click submit. Perfect. And then from there, we can go through and see some of the different ones that we have. Now we can go to tips. Click on the gear again. And just like before, you can edit the alert message if you want. And let's play some of the tips that Stream Elements has. You can also check a custom one. So if I want to do 333, three, I can check a custom one as well. Now, Stream Elements has some really fantastic default ones there for you, but you might want to edit the amounts to be more relevant to your channel. So if you really, really like the number 55, you could change the special alert here to be at 55 instead. So you would want to change that to minimum amount being 55. Okay, let's go to the next one. We can next check on subscribers. Subscribers are also really, really beautiful. Stream Elements has some ones available for you. And as usual, you can also check the custom one. So if I want to see, um, if I had added a special 15 month one, that would be something you would add under variation there. And you can check that as well when it comes across the screen. Again, you can also change the alert message that shows up. We also have the follower one. And as I mentioned, it does only have the one variation, but you can change it. Stream Elements uses your Twitch avatar, but if you want to change the image, just go to add image and you can pick any of the images you've had, or you can upload a new one up here. Next, let's click submit. And we can lastly go over to the hosts. Hosts are a really great thing to have because it helps say thank you to all the people that are hosting you. You can change the variations for sizes. So right now, if I were to click on it, this would be the minimum amount of viewers that would take to show this host alert. This again is a sprite sheet, which I didn't have before for myself, but Stream Elements does have them for all the animations for you. So it's a great looking animation. Let's click submit. And again, if you want to add a variation for a higher host or a different number of hosts, that's absolutely okay. Now let's close that out. Make sure you've saved everything. And then that's actually it. So if just again, the Hype Cup is a great way to visualize all the events that happen on your channel. It's a great way to increase interaction with your viewers and with other streamers with all the different tokens that you have. If you guys want to give any feedback, Stream Elements has a Twitter and a Discord, which they're really great with support on. Lastly, make sure you guys check out all the other videos that Stream Elements has on the channel. As I mentioned, there should be an overlay one popping up there for you to click on, as well as one for tips and other great videos that you can use. Have a great one, you guys. I hope your streamers are fantastic, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.